What's going on everybody? It is your man Cleveland Terry and I have another video this week. Products are flying off the shelves. So today we're gonna to talk about one special feature out of the brand new updated Virtual DJ 2021 and that is their ability to do live remixes. Let's talk about it right now. So with the new update to Virtual DJ, they now give you the ability to break out your audio tracks into stems. So if you have a song that doesn't have an acapella or doesn't have an instrumental, the software now allows you to actually remove elements of the music to get you what you want. And that's super, super cool. They're one of the first, depending on who you ask, because DJ Pro came out with their iOS version. And of course, Virtual DJ came out right about the same time. So who was first? I don't think it really matters at this point. Either way, they're both doing it. Companies like, well, you know, Serato, Rekordbox, none of those have this ability as of today. This is a really, really cool feature that they came in and I applaud Virtual DJ because in all honesty, they keep working, they keep building in stuff to make it easier to be a DJ in 2020. So let's talk about exactly what's going on. By the way, in the new 2021, uh, the Newmark Mix Track and Platinum have both been added to it. So if you have one of these, uh, which I'm re currently reviewing right now. If you have one of these, it'll now work with the new Virtual DJ. So that was perfect timing for me. <laughs> now, what is Virtual DJ doing? Well, they are taking the song and through their own special algorithms and programming, they are extracting the elements of the song, which is today they call it the stems. I used to call it the tracks back when I was engineering, but now they call it stems. And that is basically each part of a song, all the things that make the song whole. So your vocals, your drum kick, your hi-hat, your bass, and whatever extra incidental instruments are also built in. So all of those things can now be broken out and applied to your mix. So let's take a look, look at what's going on here. So Virtual DJ implemented this in kind of a cool way. The same way where all of your, your hot pads are assignable. So now there is an assignable pad for stems. So what Virtual DJ is doing is it's taking all those stems and it's applying it to a dedicated pad on your controller. So we have vocals, instrumental, bass, uh, drums, and then your hi-hat. So basically, I'm gonna start off with something easy because we're gonna talk about the good and the bad of this application and how it works. All right, so let's take this from the start, a normal song so you can kind of hear what's going on. Okay. So this is the natural song without any removal of the stems. So now if we want to take just the vocals, we can mute the other pads and just have the vocals. So this is how it sounds. Now, just by muting it, now I have the ability to throw another beat on, uh, bring the other beat and do another remix. There's so many options with having just the acapella. But here's the thing. I can also bring the other things back and take the vocals out. So now we only have the vocals that are gone. Really, really cool, really easy. That's what's really cool about the way Virtual DJ implemented it. It's really, really easy to just get to what you wanna do, have fun with it and go from there. The same thing applies to anything. I, I played that song first because that style of song seems to be the easiest for Virtual DJ to extract. Now, when we start to get into some more complicated music, that's when it starts to struggle a little bit. When Virtual DJ, when, when it works, it's on point and it's super cool. But when it doesn't work, it doesn't work. I will let you be the judge of what you think the sound is. So let's go to a hip hop song here. Okay, again, straight, the normal song so you can hear what's going on. I 
Now, on this type of stuff, it's clean. That's clean. But when the beat comes in, that's when it struggles. Okay. So right now, the drums, everything's on. And now you can hear the struggle that's happening. There's a lot of frequencies, a lot of dissonance. It just, it almost becomes unusable. So now, here's the thing. Now, I'm gonna take out the vocals. Now, the instrumental, definitely better. You can still hear some of the frequencies kind of merging with each other because it's essentially, it's pulling the vocals out in real time. So I can't really complain too much because it's doing something that up until this point, pretty much couldn't be done. But if we're talking about this from just a standard DJ perspective, it has to sound clean in the mix because if it doesn't sound clean in the mix, it's gonna stick out like a sore thumb. It's gonna affect the sound. If you're DJing at a club or something like that and you're pushing out heavy frequencies as it is and maybe the speaker system is just not that good, well, that extra frequency that you're now adding to the fire is gonna make it sound really, really bad. But the fact that I can pull out a quick and easy instrumental, uh, and this, this actually works for a lot of you DJs that uh, maybe struggle with knowing when verses are coming in versus when they're not like knowing the timing of your music. Uh, just having this little thing as you're transitioning out, if for instance, you're mixing words over words, which is a definite no-no, if you're mixing words over words, you can just mute out the vocals and you're no longer mixing words over words. So it's gonna help a lot of DJs out there um, that struggle with that. But having said that, again, this is amazing stuff that they're doing here. So another example, if I take up the audio, you hear it struggling, you hear the sound is just nowhere near the same. And the vocals aren't even in yet. Here's the vocals. And you can still hear the vocals a little bit, um, but not as bad from an instrumental level. It's when you try to take just the, the acapella out that it struggles. I know you can remove the bass, but for stuff like this with 808s, I knew that it wasn't gonna be able to take out the 808. It's too close to the kick drum. So let's find a song real quick that just has kind of a clear and precise kick drum. Okay, this should work. Just the bass line. Okay, it's a little better with just the bass line. Okay, that's just the kick drum. So this one, definitely defined, definitely much better on this particular song. Got the hi-hat. See, that's great. This one works really, really good. This one's pulling out the extra sounds too. So, this, this exact song, this one, is perfect for using the stems feature. Like I said, when it works, it works absolutely amazing. But when it doesn't work, uh, it's it's almost unusable. Now, again, it's gonna keep improving. They're gonna keep tweaking it and making it better. Uh, there's a lot of cool little features, like if you had a MIDI equalizer, you could run all your stems through that so you could actually affect the sound without using the, the actual pads, but with actual faders. So that's really, really cool. And just having this in here is very, very cool. And I don't wanna take that away. DJ has it also, I haven't tested out DJ Pro, uh, but I was testing this anyway, had it. Let's just run through its motions and go from there. But in a pinch, uh, this is really, really cool. If you were looking at this from like a standard, true production environment type of mix, well, a lot of songs aren't gonna work when you try to go acapella or when you try to go beat only. It's gonna struggle with that a little bit. But for the ones that it does work with, it works really, really well. Well, so good job, Virtual DJ. I'm assuming DJ Pro, good job too. Hey, uh, Serato, Rekordbox, step your game up. Let me know in the comments below what you feel about this new feature. Let me know if you're gonna use it. If you found what I said here useful, hit that like button. If you found what I said here really useful, hit that subscribe button. Make sure you follow me on the Instagrams and the Twitters. And of course, always a pleasure. If I don't talk to you later, we'll talk soon. Peace.